The sale of the APS enabled T14 next generation main battle tank will be one of the top priorities of Russia during the upcoming India Russia bilateral summit in October 2020 and the estimated worth of the deal for 1770 tanks stands at 4.5 billion dollars. If the Russian T-14 is selected under the FRCV program, then apart from replacing the T-72, its universal chassis will be used for an infantry fighting vehicle, an armored personnel carrier and several other armored vehicles. The T-14 can fire 12 rounds per minute, and has a maximum effective range of 8 kilometers, and it features fully digitized equipment, an unmanned turret, and an isolated armored capsule for the crew. It has a circular Doppler radar, and ultraviolet HD surveillance cameras with 360-degree circular coverage, that can detect the ionized gas that is emitted by enemy tanks. Bharat Dynamics Limited has signed a license agreement and transfer of technology with the DRDO for Army variant of the Akash 1S air defense systems, as the Indian Army is planning to order two regiments worth over 14,000 crore rupees. Bharat Dynamics Limited is the production house for manufacturing the Akash systems, and its facility can produce 100 missiles per month. The 25-ton wheeled armored amphibious platform jointly developed by Tata Motors and the DRDO has started to conduct high-altitude and floating tests. It is equipped with a BMP-2 turret, a 7.62mm machine gun, a stabilized 30mm cannon, 4 km range 85 anti-tank guided system, and offers a high level of protection and maximum road speed of 100 km per hour based on the 8x8 chassis. MKU Limited based in the UP Defence Industrial Corridor, is executing big orders for night vision devices to many South American and Asian countries, and will be exporting to European countries in the coming months. The Vice President of MKU Limited has said, that in order to compete with world leaders in the international market, the company has developed a new Gen 3 technology, that is able to work in very low light conditions. MKU has also partnered with Thales of France, for the co-development of electro-optical devices. India and Indonesia have signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Maritime Safety and Security, which will provide avenues to improve interoperability and carry out joint operations, and this development comes amid the growing Chinese belligerence in the region. Indian Air Force's MiG-29 Su-30 fighter jets and Apache helicopters conducted night sorties at the forward bases near the India-China border. A group captain of the Indian Air Force has said, that the Air Force is fully ready to undertake entire spectrum of operations in any environment with the help of modern platforms and motivated personnel. After major modifications to its airframe with the help of an American testing firm, the intermediate jet trainer of Hindustan Aeronautics is all set to restart a crucial set of spin trials this month. The flight test was stopped in 2016, after it became clear that the spin trials couldn't be completed safely on the previous airframe. Oh,